Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Naninga Kwe. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, whoever you are, wherever you are, thank you. Um, so today, you guys, today I actually thought I should talk to you about the makeup trends that are keeping me up at night. Yes, makeup trends that literally keep me up at night. Like I'm thinking like, how will I do this? How will I do that? And I believe that for so many of us, these are actually trends that whether they've gone or whether they've come, they are, sometimes some of them I normally pray like they never come back. Like they are gone, they never come back. So it will be a combination of both trends that are around, trends that are coming, and trends that have gone. So welcome to my channel and let's talk about the makeup trends that keep me up at night. And I always like think about it. So the first makeup trend that actually keeps me up at night is bushy eyebrows. Yes, you had that right, bushy eyebrows. I know that for some people, they're like, whew, definitely we don't need to wax our brows anymore. We don't need to like um, go to the salon every now and then. But for some of us who have really, really sparse eyebrows, oh my God, that's my son. So just understand, he, he's always playing outside with his friends. So if you hear any screaming or anything, there's no harm done. He's under somebody's care. And he's out with some people. So, yeah. So, the makeup trends that actually... What am I saying? Yes. Yeah, so, as I was saying, bushy eyebrows actually keep me up at night. And the reason is because I have really sparse brows. I even feel in my brows. Even when the thin line makeup trend was in, when people were doing thin eyebrows, I was still feeling in my brows. So, bushy eyebrows uh, actually keep me up at night because I'm always thinking about whether... I should buy wax or I should still use a pencil or how can I make them look more natural because as you know we are no longer like making our eyebrows look really fake defined and very fake they have to look natural because bushy eyebrows are a thing so you have to actually draw like the lines of you know of the eyebrows so that is the first makeup trend that is keeping me up at night and you can imagine if it goes all the way to like the greek period where like a unibrow was in you can imagine like we'll have to be drawing our brows all the way up to here so that is a makeup trend that is really keeping me up at night i know it's a good trend but unfortunately for people like me who have really sparse brows i'm always like ah oh, i have to draw them like before i leave the house or whatever so the second makeup that. trend that is actually keeping me up at night is also still currently there and that is glossy plump lips. <laughs> yes, I know some of you might also think like, oh, this is an opportunity for us to plump our lips. No, not for some of us. Some of us who have big lips, I'm telling you, if you haven't watched my video on how to reduce the size of your lips via makeup, go watch it because some people are really struggling with big lips. Like me, by the way. I, I just sort of like make them look smaller through my makeup but applying lip gloss and like walking around without lip gloss like makes everybody look at me like what are you doing like what are you doing so that is actually a makeup trend that is keeping me up at night it's not a trend for everybody it's not a trend for people who have big lips it's not a trend for people who have like you know uh, what is it called? Like maybe they have something on your, their lips that they're trying to hide at least opaque lips Maybe discolored lips. Yeah, it's not a trend for people like who have such problems and they are used to hiding them Because they'd rather just do the opaque makeup like me I'd rather just do the opaque makeup for one reason or the other so the lip gloss trend uh, the transparent lipstick trend uh, the I don't know, sheer lipstick trend is a trend that is actually keeping me The third trend, thank God it did not take root because I was observing it and I was like, have people gone crazy? Have, 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 is there a group of people who've gone mad? Is colored eyebrows. Yes, there was a time that this trend nearly peaked, I think around two years ago or something. Colored eyebrows were actually a thing like on runways and all that. And you know that designers and uh, this really big like runway, the people who run the fashion industry basically are the ones who dictate the trends of the world. Whether we want it or know it who, or whether we don't know it, they're the ones who actually dictate the makeup trends of the world. So it was like a thing on runways, like this colored eyebrows, <laughs> as in like seriously, like I was just like, what? People are going to go around with like blonde eyebrows. 
what and you know how those color dinosaurs make human beings look honestly they make us look like aliens or what we think aliens look like so that trend i was like who thank god so that is actually a makeup trend that keeps me up at night like i'm like mm-hmm. I hope another fashion trend that actually keeps me up at night is big eyelashes or basically artificial eyelashes honestly i mean it's it's makeup it's makeup after all it alters how your face looks so these eyelashes actually keep me up at night because i had an encounter for those of you who've been with me on my channel you know that i used to uh put on fake eyelashes a lot and then in every video by there i used to put on fake eyelashes and then it reached a point i just stopped and it's because i encountered fake eyelash glue Woo! fake huda beauty eyelash glue and i'm telling you i had such a bad reaction with my eyes i nearly literally went blind i woke up one morning like after i used the fake eyelash glue which was so difficult to use and that's where my fear or a trend that keeps me up at night came up with installing eyelashes that thing i'm telling you it might not be come it's, it might not be a shocker to some people but it might be a shocker to some because some people are used to good eyelash glues i'm telling you when you're in a country like kenya where left right center there's fake eyelash glue oh that trend is going to be a nightmare and i just decided to stop because i even ordered another eyelash glue <coughs> from my friend jumia and unfortunately that glue was also fake so i was like now where am i going to get because the one i used to use was an original and i just bought it in a beauty shop actually the days i used to live in mombasa i bought it in a beauty shop but now i've bought like four eyelash glues that are all fake like fake like it's a nightmare to install those lashes and that is what is making that trend keep me up at night like honestly if you don't have the right tools if you don't have the right technique this trend is going to be a nightmare for you and it's keeping me up at night because it's so difficult to install those lashes like especially as i've said with like fake eyelash glue ow it's so difficult and guys don't use fake eyelash glue i now have a phobia literally for those lashes because of fake eyelash glue like in fact anytime i find a fake eyelash glue i actually i just open it i see like it's the fake kind like it's not holding it's not doing what i just toss it away because i nearly went blind my eyes swelled like don't don't use fake eyelash glue guys so yeah that's the trend that is keeping me up at night definitely installation of eyelashes and i know so many people can bear me witness it's not as easy as it normally looks let me think another makeup trend that is keeping me up at night is actually highlighting and contouring yes i sh i did a video that was saying that these are the makeup trends that have faded out but i feel like in order for you to be like in the youtube like beauty like you still have to highlight and contour otherwise you look like you don't know what you're doing and i know that some of these trends are going to die off because right now there's corona and definitely you have to like take into account how our society has changed because after all even lipstick and all <laughs> I no longer wear lipstick when going anywhere because I'm wearing a face mask and it's just not practical. So um, this trend really kept me up at night because of the shape of my face. Like, seriously, this is the kind of shape of face that doesn't really need contouring. Like, I'm already like, if I continue to contour anymore, I'll look like Angelina Jolie. And especially in the African context, already it's like I'm emaciated. So that is a trend that used to keep me, keep me up at night because i just feel like i don't need to contour my face maybe highlight but contouring mm -mm. like uh that is literally a trend and some of this is basically most of the fact you know that there are certain trends that you don't have to do you have to go with trends that actually make you look better what's the purpose of makeup makeup is designed to make somebody look better not worse so there are some trends that are actually not flat because our faces come in all shapes and sizes and certain trends like contouring for example i have a skinny face down here contouring is not going to make that any better no it's not it's going to make it worse i'm going to look like a skeleton so you have to look at trends that suit you and yourself as a person you have to look at your skin color you have to look at so many things but let's not mention skin color you know we are in a sensitive part of the world i can see that you're still watching Thank you so much for watching up to this point. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. I normally post three times a week, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three times a week, every single week, about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. 
thank you so much let's continue watching so thank you so much guys for watching i truly appreciate you hope you're taking care of yourselves hope you're taking care of your family hope you're taking care of your partners hope you're taking care of your uncles your aunties your grandmas your grandparents and everybody around you make sure you wear a mask and thank you so much for joining me i'll see you in my next video or did i mention mask what if it's the year 2040 somebody is watching this and i mentioned anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye.